The Patience of the Pious Predecessors in Seeking Knowledge Chapter 4 Description of the Scholars' Hunger and Their Thirst During the Hot Weather for Hours and Days The scholars would be patient with regards to their hunger and thirst during the hot weather, and they would not go to people begging them either. They were not able to earn money by going to work to feed their stomachs due to their engagements with knowledge and gaining it. Just like it occurred to one of the greatest companions, Abu Hurairah, anhu, whose story I mentioned earlier on in this book. Abu Hurairah, anhu. Timeline, died in the year 59 Hijri. Lesson, Abu Hurairah, anhu, narrates, People say that I have narrated many hadiths. Had it not been for two verses of the Quran, I would not have narrated a single hadith. And the verses are, those who conceal the clear signs we have sent down, and the guidance, after we have made it clear for the people in the book. On them shall be Allah's curse, and the curse of those entitled to curse, except those who repent and make amends, and openly declare the truth to them, I turn, for I am the oft-returning, most merciful. Quran, chapter 2, verses 159-160 Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu then says, And no doubt our Muhajir brothers used to be busy in the markets with their business, and our Ansari brothers used to be busy with their property. But I, Abu Huraira, used to stick to Allah's Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, being content with what will fill my stomach, and I used to attend gatherings which they never attended, and I used to memorize hadith which they never memorized. Hafid ibn Hajr comments on this hadith in his book Fatul Bari and says, The lesser a person possesses the worldly things, the more his path to knowledge will increase. Imam Sufyan al Fori, Rahimallah, timeline, died in the year 161 Hijri. Lesson Sufyan al Fori was a master in the field of jurisprudence of the city of Kufa. Abu Shihab says, the sister of Sufyan al Fori, Rahimallah, gave a bag to me to give to Sufyan, who was in Mecca at the time. The bag contained some biscuits and other food items. When I got to Mecca, I asked of Sufyan's whereabouts. I was told he normally sits behind the Kaaba next to a certain gate. Abu Shihab says, I went there, and Sufyan was a friend of mine, so I found him lying. I made salam to him and greeted him. But he never responded to my salams and my greetings, even though I knew him. So I said to him, Your sister has sent with me this bag, which contains some biscuits and other sweet items. So he said, Hand over me the bag quickly, and he sat upright. So I said to him, O son of Abdullah, I came to you and greeted you, but you never responded to me, even though I am your friend. But when I told you that I have something for you, that I have come to you with a bag of biscuits and some sweets. You immediately sat and only then you spoke to me. So he said, O oh Abu Shihab, do not blame me, as this is the third day that I have not tasted food. Abu Shihab says, I then apologise to him. Imam Abu Abdullah Ahmed ibn Hanbal, Rahimallah, timeline, died in Baghdad in the year 241 Hijri. Lesson Ibrahim ibn Ya'qub says, Imam Ahmed ibn Hanbal, rahimallah, used to pray Salah with Abdur Razak. One day he made a mistake during Salah, so Abdur Razak asked him about the cause behind making his mistake in Salah. So he said, he has not eaten anything for the past three days. Imam Abu Hatim, Muhammad ibn Ajris al-Razi, rahimallah. Timeline, died in the year 277 Hijri. Lesson. Imam Abu Hatim Razi rahimallah, says, whilst he narrated the story of his journey for seeking knowledge and the sacrifices he made and the hardship and difficulties he had during his journey of seeking knowledge, he says, We were three of us travelling together, myself, Sheikh Abu Zahir Marwaruzi, and another person of Nezabur. He says, We sailed the sea, and the wind was travelling to our direction, so we remained in the sea for three months. The remaining of our food had finished, and it was only the leftovers that was left now. So we came on the land, and we continued walking for days on the land, until all of our provisions, including water, had finished. 
we walked one day on one night, and none of us ate or drank anything. The second day was the same. Every day we were walking till night. When evening approached us, we would pray, and we would rest, as and when we found a resting place. Our situation was such that our bodies became weak due to hunger, thirst and tiredness. In the morning of the third day, we started to walk as much as we can, but Sheikh Marwa Ruzi fell and became unconscious. We started to shake him, but he was not responding, so we left him and we carried on. We continued to walk, me and my colleague who was from Nizabur, around one fazak or two, and I became weak and fell unconscious. My colleague carried on and left me. He carried on walking until far away he saw a group of people who had stopped their boats close to the land, and they got off at a well nearby. When he saw them, he signalled them, so they brought with them a bucket of water, and they gave him to drink. He said to them, Help my other two friends who have fallen unconscious. Abu Hatim al-Razi says, I did not realise except a man pouring water on my face. So I opened my eyes and I said, Pour some water in my mouth. So I drank and I came back to consciousness. Then I said, Behind me is an other sheikh. So he said that a few brothers are already with him. So he grabbed my hand and I was walking and dragging my feet until I reached at their boat. They also brought to us my friend and the third sheikh. These travellers did us a great favour and we stayed with them for a few days until we gained our energy and strength once again. Hafid Abu Muhammad Abdurrahman ibn Yusuf ibn Khirash al-Marwazi al-Baghdadi ibn Khirash, rahimallah. Timeline. Died in the year 283 Hijri. Lesson. He had a long journey between Egypt and Khurasan. Bakr ibn Hamdan al-Marwazi says, I heard ibn Khirash say, I drank my urine while seeking the knowledge of Hadith five times. This was due to him walking in wild land and desert to seek knowledge and conveying the knowledge to others, so he would become thirsty on his way, and due to the absence of water, he would drink his urine.